Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Cannot wait for this episode, man. After that bombshell that dropped to us last week, a few a few people actually recognised her. Um, apparently, before last week's episode, which is quite crazy. I played you guys. I did not put that together at all. It's awesome that they can just become friends like that. I guess, yeah, I guess it does quite relate quite a bit to this situation. I don't think they're going to stop being friends because of this, are they? Xavier seems like a, a really nice girl, actually. I'm glad I didn't badmouth her music <laughs> last episode. It did sound really awesome when that truck was driving by. Different from what she's been singing so far. Yeah, we got some awesome moments with uh, Kevin Taiji in last episode as well. I absolutely loved some of those moments. I'm not sure if it was a fan favourite episode, but it was definitely one of my favourite episodes last week. Again, I can see why it won't, wouldn't be for some people. It was just a kind of in-between episode, but I love the uh, developments a lot of the characters made last week. When is the ending coming out, man? <laughs> when is this ending song coming out, man? I've been looking for it for ages. After it got removed. I was listening to replay versions, and then... Yeah, I guess uh, I guess we just have to wait for every uh, every Thursday to listen to it. Yeah, you know what? It almost seems like all the cast is pretty much uh, with us now, doesn't it? Of all the people we see in the opening and uh, ending. I'm interested to see who our two friends are going to be. I, d I doubt we've met them at this point or anything, but it's uh, interesting to see what they're like. Can't imagine they're bad people if they're friends with uh, the Namin. Although they did say the um, the group was quite... Uh, what was it? Reduced, was it? I can't quite remember. Quite controlled, I guess, might be the right word. That does seem to be the case. It would be so easy to promise an up-and-coming band or singer something and then just uh, put some clauses in there that controls their whole image and such, wouldn't it? I can imagine there's a lot of manipulation that goes on in that industry. Or the populace. Yeah, I, I would think that is a slight dangerous thing to do, though, <laughs> for uh, Brazilia to be singing on the street like that. Madder, madder, don't they, here? Okay, they made a little bit of progress at least. I guess these both these guys got both pains to deal with <laughs> running their songs. Oh, that's what it was. Again, I, I completely forgot what the third thing was the last two weeks. Observation. Wow, this is a uh, old school event taking place. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you just bust a rhyme, my boy? <laughs> I was about to question why he's just like, surely at this point you've had so you've done so much rap you'd want to talk normally, but I guess I guess we're always rapper. <laughs> I guess it's a good way to kind of be good at freestyles and uh, come up with lyrics, I guess. Oh boy. This is me, huh? <laughs> oh shit, look at that dude. <laughs> there was a distinct lack of cognitive last episode, which was my only kind of downfall of the episode. Last, last week. There she is, again, crazy. Take your mind off things and such, I imagine. Oh, she actually had a feeling about that. Well, the, I mean, at this point, the uh, the message is definitely getting pushed upon her, isn't it? Yeah. She's got a mask on her. Bassist and vocalist. Oh, so that was actually a real name, Nanami. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? We're up against each other. And the worst part, I think, about it is that Kong Ming told us, and I imagine he's correct, that these guys don't have a chance at all of getting 100,000 likes. It's just kind of sucks to know, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like they're just a high school band. It's a very different image, isn't it? <laughs> Not sure this one would be quite... Actually, it might, it might be very popular with a certain type of audience, but definitely not on a mass popular scale. Again, it's, it, I imagine it's very easy to get kind of sold a dream and such in this type of business. It's a bit of a shame. Got to be very careful who you work with. But again, when you get when you get sold your dream, like you're you're going to be very willing to say yes to almost anything. The joy of you.
Go stand that light with her. And uh, knowing what comes up, uh, it's a bit of a shame. It all started from this, this very emotional, joyous moment. And when you do make your um, passion and such your job and your your responsibility, it does uh, does change things a little bit. Of course, it still can be that. I found with uh, with my YouTube and such, I do uh, I do do it a lot. I do it every day. But you know what? It doesn't actually really take anything away from it for me because I'm watching so much different stuff. I'm not just watching anime each day. I'm watching a different genre of uh, of such. And but that's him. He's massive on the preview image of this of this show on the left, isn't he? So he's going to be a big part of this end of season. Hogwash. Yep, see, it's all about the fucking numbers. Don't move. Just not true, is it? Again, that's just a very manipulative statement. But yes. But how did it, how did she go from that to accepted this? I like what they're wearing, by the way. They all look cool as hell. Oh, and he's still going to give her a chance because I imagine he sees quite a lot of potential. But again, he's just playing the game of you're not worth anything now. Why would I give you a good deal? But do you want to be successful? Yes. But do you want to have fun as well? Yes. And that's going to take that away. Ah, oh, that was a. Uh... Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. Um, yeah, I imagine trying to do this in a major city as well. Gonna add all the more difficulties. And at that point, when your actual you know, everyday life is getting affected by this, fucking hell, you got to accept it, I guess. So she called him back. It does make a good point there, to be honest. Obviously, my my YouTube channel and stuff is very self-absorbed <laughs> about what I'm watching and such, rather than pleasing others. I've always wanted a job where I please others in a certain way. I always wanted to be a teacher. Not exactly pleasing others, but that's uh, kind of on the same wavelength, I guess. With all these side men behind him. I don't. Oh, of course you are. They're wearing fucking half, <laughs> half an outfit.
Alright, look what they're wearing, man. Look at what they're wearing. Again, you see that a lot today, don't you? I think it's a lot of it's actually kind of today is decided upon by the artists they actually want to because they know it's good for them and they don't mind doing it, but there's a fact that it probably makes you more popular as to why it's so popular to do right? in the female uh, industry, I guess. Obviously, there's exceptions, like there's exceptions to everything. But yeah, look at this. What you always wanted, isn't it? You're living the dream, they say. This is when she started going out to busk. I called her homeless <laughs> in the, uh, the first episode we met her. Uh, that makes that statement seem even more stupid. And that's how stupid first impressions can be sometimes, but everyone's got them. A lot of people are relying on them. A lot of people have got jobs to do with their work. But man, that must be such an undertaking to know that everything could just like be finished like that if you don't agree to wear these skinny outfits and such. Yeah, oh, does she not know about that? That really puts a bit of a wedge between them, doesn't it? But Again, I don't think that will ruin their friendship or anything. They're very similar people. Of course, Aiko circumstances are a whole lot better behind the scenes <coughs> than uh, than Nanamin. I'm going to sing. Let's go, Aiko. Let's go. And she should be thinking about how fortunate she is to have Kong Ming and everyone behind her right now. I love I love for Kogmin to take the Namin <laughs> under his wing, but I don't think we're on that scale yet. Alright, this one again. Hello, we've had this song like three episodes in a row. It's a good song. It's a beautiful song, don't get me wrong. That's more about how she's singing it of course, but three episodes in a row. Evening signs. Oh, it sounds even better without the background music. It actually puts a focus on how talented she is. Making the stars have stars in their eyes. <laughs> Well done, Aiko. That was beautiful. And that was probably the best rendition of it yet, to be honest. With no background music or anything. Just flat out Aiko. This is it, hey? The populace.
This guy's not going wild out there, but <laughs> they're standard watching. I guess it's Japan. If this was America, there'd be a massive crowd by now. That was beautiful. That, uh, she actually does sound better than ever, like vocals wise. I'm not sure if that was like, an intentional kind of thing done by the voice actors and singer, maybe, to go with the kind of moment of uh, change. Probably. Yes. She's awesome. The one we drink with, drinking beer. You know, at this point for her, surely she can just say, fuck you guys, I'm just going to take my band, go off. We've already got a bit of a fan base. Fuck your skinny outfits. Hey. Well, I was hoping she'd pick up and tell them a piece of her mind. <laughs> but, oh, she is actually going to continue. Well, again, it is her day job. And everyone, every a lot of people rely on her. And her whole life run revolves around this now, doesn't it? So... I guess she's got to take responsibility. And again, it's just kind of sad knowing that she's never going to get these 100,000 likes. From what Kong Ming said. I can't believe she's going to go back to that guy. <laughs> oh, man. Apologies, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. So he was here the whole time, was he? Yeah, we didn't get too much Kong Ming today. This episode went by really damn quickly. It seems like she has. Again, I think we can hear it in her voice a little bit now. It's a little bit more distinguished. Oh, I recognise that. For some reason. I recognise the head of that thing. Looks like Digimon or something. Oh, this Chinese uh, OST, sounding OST, sounds really awesome right now. Ah, oh, and that's the end of it. No ending song either, I imagine. Nah. See, so yeah, I think guys watching, um, again, th these episodes, as usual, just, just go by like that. I think when you're listening to music and such, time does, um, oh, that's on this charge. Um, yeah, I think when you do listen to music, time in general just goes, uh, just goes by a little quicker because you're enjoying yourself and such. But um, I think when you put it, when you put music into anime as well, it just makes things just go double as quick. But um, yeah, awesome episode today. We get a little bit of cavitage and um, obviously not the massive focus of this episode the massive focus uh, for me personally i uh, was uh Aiko and uh and then i mean um both uh, both really awesome characters really love that we got some of the backstory to how the band was created uh, as alia and how that kind of got twisted as i mentioned this um i imagine there's so many people and so many bands and such and, and lives that have been kind of ruined and affected and um obviously made as well by um the decisions of like ceos and such and in music and in high power positions and um they can obviously take that chance with, uh, with p people coming up saying yeah you follow these rules otherwise we're not, we're not going to take you on and if we don't take you on it's literally no no different to us um it's uh yes uh quite crazy um obviously you don't accept like we saw you do end up failing a lot of the time it's hard to get kind of off to a off to a outset it's uh, i do kind of find it kind of related to my youtube stuff there was definitely a few uh, pieces of advice that the ceo guy uh karasaka i think his name was did say that um very much go with what i do as well um and obviously i try and go against that grain in a way obviously i'm not massively successful at anything and that um and i'm not i'm not really too bothered by that i just want to um kind of go at my pace if you know what i'm saying i want to hopefully win by my own rules rather than uh following the industry rules like uh like we saw there and i'm hoping that we can see azalea kind of do that same thing um and, and she's got a big fan base at the minute anyway i really don't think they'd mind i think she'd lose a few fans who are only fans of uh seeing the half naked girls on the stage but um you don't really they're not really true fans or anything anyway are they so hopefully we can see a kind of resolution to that i'm glad these guys are still uh going to be really good friends although not see each other too much going to be really good friends even though they're now going to be rivals as well um but yeah just absolutely can't wait for it uh let me know you guys 
guys thought about this episode down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions. I'll be back next week with episode 10, uh, which again, I absolutely can't wait for. Uh, if you guys did want to help support further, you can check the Patreon link down in the description, but have a good rest of your day, guys.